Hey everyone, welcome to the Dark Chad. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a separate iTunes library. A completely different iTunes library where someone else can use it and put all their music and stuff, and it doesn't have to interfere with yours. Let's say you're on a family computer, and you're, someone else in your family uh, has their iTunes library, and you have yours, but you each have your separate iPods and stuff, and you don't want them to all be mixed up into one big jumble. Um, <clears throat> so you can create separate iTunes libraries for different people. And they can open them up and uh, sync their each individual iPods uh, and devices with each separate library. So this is how you do it. First of all, you want to go to iTunes, hold in your shift key, and click on iTunes. Keep holding in the shift key. And here it'll pop up this, choose iTunes library. You want to go to create library. And then here, iTunes 1. Let's just leave it as iTunes 1 for this. Let me see. Our first library is iTunes. iTunes 1. Save it. And now it'll open up, as you can see on the top, iTunes 1. And here we have all our stuff. Music, as you can see, nothing here. Movies, nothing here. TV shows, nothing here. Podcasts, nothing here. Uh, we can go down to our uh, all 25 most plays. There's absolutely nothing on here. And if you sync, if you try to sync an iPod with here, uh, then... It would say, you know, do you want to say this library and everything? Uh, it's like an entirely different computer almost. Everything, like, it's all different. Um, so, this this is cool. Now, let's say you want to go off and lose iTunes. Um, and then you want to open up as your other account. Let's say, so your brother comes or something and it's like, okay, let's go to my account. Hold and shift again. Let's go to choose library. And then, as we can see, we're in iTunes. So let's go back to my music. And then, let's say my I'm the big brother, and my iTunes is here, iTunes library, and I'll just open that up. And then here's here's all my songs and everything, um, and that's all that's all fun. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, but let's say let's say I want to delete the other iTunes library, so let's close that up, and then go down to music. Then we'll go into uh, iTunes one, which is where it is, and we'll just. Delete it. That's all. That's all it is. It's now. Now it's gone. And uh, so now you can just click on iTunes, and it'll automatically open up your first normal library. So that's all for this video. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, in creating other iTunes libraries. Uh, if you like this video, please rate five stars and comment. Uh, as well as also, if you like my other videos, my tutorials, screencasts, and all that, you can subscribe to my channel, Chat D4. Uh, you can also check out my website, my blog, and all that at tiktokwithchad.co.nr. So that's me, Chad, and have a great day.